Welcome back to the Phantom Pain S rank walkthrough. We're up to episode 12, Hellbound, and this is one of the lengthier missions in the game uh, that we've encountered thus far. And we're going to start off here and we're going to start sprinting towards the door. And you don't have to do the dive like I just did. But we're going to run up to this door, and behind this door, there's going to be a guard to the right. And um, there's really two paths you want to do to get to the end here. You can go left or go right. I chose to go right for no specific reason. There is a helicopter above, and you can kind of see the light. Uh, you want to stay out of his uh, out of his view if possible. But I largely uh, just ignored it for the most part. So we're going to keep running down here. We're going to have a couple uh, guards just to our right. I'm going to take care of one and then just move on. Uh, I'm going to get about 136,000 points due to my time bonus. Again, you only need 130 to get the S rank, so my time bonus alone is going to get me the S rank. So I'm not really going to worry about kills or retries or reflex or anything like that, but I do manage to do this with no enemy combat alerts. So that's an 11,000 point bonus, I believe. So you're going to have some decoys here. These are obviously fake troops. You can tell by their little pedestals. They're designed to fool me. But we're going to shoot them in the ass, literally. Alright, so we're almost near the end. I'm going to get to the point where we're going to call the D-Horse. Uh, halfway through this mission, I am going to switch to D-Dog. Everybody loves Dee Dee. But there's going to be two soldiers on the left side of the road patrolling. They could be actually on the right side. Uh, it kind of varies which way they're going. Pop one, and we're going to pop two right here. Alright, so we're going to whistle for the horse. And now uh, we're going to run to the uh, final kind of another base area heavily fortified base area as well. And on the run there, I'm actually going to run into uh, some combat alerts uh, twice during this uh, this little jaunt. So what I'm going to do is just leave those in, and I'm going to restart the checkpoint, because you can of course restart the checkpoint, be put back at your previous spot with the time turned back to where you were. So this is, uh, my final time was 14 and a half minutes. The actual video length is a little longer than that. Um, that just shows you that when you do restart checkpoint, it rewinds the time. So we're just going to try to stay away from outposts as much as possible. As much as I can. Until I get completely lost and just run right into an outpost. Right here, I kind of took a wrong turn. And I'm getting a combat alert, so I'm just going to restart the checkpoint. And hopefully learn from our mistake. I'm looking at the map, realizing I am not anywhere near the road I'm supposed to be on. Who would have thought a map would provide directions? Alright, so moving on, you got another outpost here to the right. I'm just staying to the left and going right around it. Now I'm going to have another uh, screw up just the head here. There's going to be a couple of uh, people at the bottom of the road. And I know I have to go up kind of around to the left and I just didn't uh, catch the entry point to do so early enough. So you can see they're right there and I got too close. So in an attempt to escape, I'm unfortunately going to fail. If I could have taken that guy out, I would have continued on, but it's hard when you got the pistol riding on horseback away from him to get that ever so critical headshot. But no harm, no foul, because we just restarted the checkpoint. And you can now actually see his location on the map, or in, uh, on the uh, screen there, the red triangle. So we're just going to go loop around him this time. And that is what you're supposed to do. 
instead of the awful fail that I did. Alright, so continuing down the road, uh, we have another kind of outpost just ahead, so come over here to the right. Now there's going to be a, a large area in this camp that you're going to have to find the, the uh, doctor. But we're going to actually interrogate uh, a guard and get his exact location. But what I'm doing here is uh, getting some uh, a resupply and calling in D-Dog, because I don't need the horse at this point. D-Dog's ability, of course, is to spot enemies for you and to sit there and look adorable. Alright, so we're sneaking up. There's a guard here to the left. If you do uh, get some intel from him, interrogate him, he will tell you the building that we're supposed to go to. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it, just so you can see in the, uh, the icon of where exactly we're going. Alright, so I'll continue onward here, just around the corner, I'm going to have my resupply, and as you can see, DD just dropped. And then as we enter the camp, there's going to be some guys to the right that can see you, so we're just going to kind of run up until maybe he does. He's right in front of us there. He does, so I'm just going to take it slow here, no reason to kind of set the entire base on fire just yet. But inside this guardhouse, make sure you take this guy out. And now you can see him in the back left corner is the building that we're targeting. So we're going to get another uh, reflex moment here. That's a pretty far distance, so I got a good shot there. Had I not been so uh, impatient and just kind of moved slowly, I wouldn't have had to have worried about that. Now just stay along the outside, uh, the left side, there's a bunch of people in the middle uh, with the metal gears and a whole bunch of other artillery. There's a helicopter as well that's going to be flying overhead. We are not going to worry about that. But usually there's a guard right here, comes around the corner of that building. I didn't see him so I just thought maybe his pathing was different. Turns out I just got here too quickly. But again, with the reflex, if you have reflex on, it's real easy to take them out. Uh, you can turn reflex mode off, and you will always get that bonus, but your likelihood of having combat alerts increases, unless you like restarting checkpoints quite often. And we're just going to continue around here. Now just remember, you can do uh, a mission select at any time, so if you, you've beaten the game or you passed this mission, you can always go. Uh, into the menu and select and replay any of the past missions if you want to improve your score. And there's a guy looking for me with a flashlight. He's not going to see me. I'm going to crawl away, but I am going to stop and see what he does here. If he comes this way, I'm going to take him out. And he is coming this way because I'm going to take him out. Only because we are going to return ultimately back the way we're coming. Top this building, there's a guard up there, so be careful of him. Also careful the guys to the right, I was spotted here a couple times. Alright, so this is the building that we need to go into. You can't access this door because it is locked, so we're going to go on the other side. There are going to be some people waiting for us down here. But they don't know where I'm at, so I'm going to get the jump on them, take them out again with my uh, sleeping pistol. Although we will be killing a couple of people a little bit later. You can probably, at this point, you really have a couple choices. You can continue uh, once you get the doctor on foot, or you can grab the, uh, the contraption, as you'll see him momentarily. So we're in here. Uh, you're going to initiate a cutscene. If you want a good time, skip the uh, skip the cutscene at the left touchpad. Extraction arrived at the base. Okay. So now I got the doctor. At this point, you can just continue running out with him, or you can get into this thing, the walker gear. 
Now my first uh, instinct was just to take the doctor and kind of sprint out of here. It's really your choice how you want to approach this. And as with any mission, you can approach it completely different than how I did. Uh, there is no one way to do this, so this is just one guide. But if you get a, a time of 14 minutes and 30 seconds, it won't matter what your other bonus points are. Alright, so at this point I'm thinking I was just going to go run out of here with him, but failed to find the exit like the idiot I am. And then I have a change of heart. We're going to go ahead and get into the, uh, the walker here. When you get in, if you use the walker, make sure you pick him up. Hold the circle button. Alright, so now we just gotta find the exit. It's gonna be just in front of us over here. Now again, I'm gonna take the exact same path that I took in, except go in reverse. There's going to be a couple times that I am spotted. Uh, this thing has a, a fun little Gatling gun. Now, don't ask me why, but when you shoot the Gatling gun, when you're in the reflex mode, or even if you're not in it, it's not going to alert anybody. I thought it might have been just kind of some kind of weird bug or something, but I played through this a couple times, and for some reason it doesn't raise any kind of alarms. But good for us, because we're not going to uh, get any combat alerts in this entire mission. Alright, at this point I was going to see if I can uh, set up an extraction helicopter. Can't do that just yet. Alright, so continue making your way to the gate. When you get to the gate, you're going to have um, the big metal walker thing. Now, there's a couple ways you can play it. If you want, at this point, you can call your horse, and then you can just put the doctor on the back of the horse and, and sprint off. Uh, you can get back into this metal gear thing again. This uh, walker, rather. Or you can get into a truck that is going to be here after the cutscene. So I'm speaking of cutscenes, I'm going to skip it. And then as soon as I get uh, to the end of this uh, cutscene, I still can't call the helicopter. But I'm gonna, I was going to call the, uh, the D-horse, but the cutscene happened too quickly. So I went with my backup plan, because I'm not going to have time to call the horse now. And that is a get into the truck that's right to our left. If you go to the passenger side, you can uh, have an option to put him in here. And I'm going to get into the truck again. You can take the walker. If you want to sprint on foot, you can. Don't recommend that. Now the game's going to set up an extraction point pretty close by, but what we want to do is actually set up a second one instead. Because we need to escape, run and hide before we can be extracted. You see they're about 150 meters away, so I'm going to set up the second one. Which is not far past it, but it's far enough that I can get away here. If you use the horse instead, if you had it, it's pretty much the same thing. The horse sprints pretty fast. I'm a little disappointed with the speed of the vehicles, to be honest with you. Alright, so I'm going to get here. This is the second extraction point. Make sure you grab the uh, Emmerich here out of the truck. Now we're just going to go wait up there. Now you have to make sure you remain hidden from that thing. That thing's about 100 feet tall, so he can see over, over hills and behind the rocks. So what I'm going to do is just kind of place him on the ground and go prone if I can find a good hiding spot. But I should be far enough away. The helicopter's actually coming here in here, but if I was if he was closer what I'd do is I'd place him down and then I would just go prone, hit the triangle button, and hope he doesn't see me. 
And as you can see, the helicopter is here already, so we're gonna just go pick him up and leave. Now once you left, you get your scores. Episode 12 will be completed. After you do this kind of little boss fight here, you're gonna have to use the gun on the helicopter. And this thing's gonna shoot up a little of those little bloom things. Once you've taken these out, just concentrate all fire on him, and that will be, uh, that'll be it. So once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. We did get our S rank, again, 14 minutes, 30 seconds. Got me, that in itself, enough for the S rank. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.